This is a really cool way to do task cards. Um, so this is a Google Sheet, and I found this idea on this blog. Um, so Mandy made this, and she is amazing. And what I honestly did is she goes step by step on how to create this. I just stole her template. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, she's got a spreadsheet and questions that you'll need. So if you have task cards, you can just take screenshots of them. Um, and then I just took her spreadsheet, spreadsheet. And again, it was really, really easy. And again, Mandy, she made this. So check out her blog. Um, I'll definitely post this link in the YouTube description. So right here is um, the spreadsheet that I kind of took from her template. Sheet two is hidden, so I'm going to go ahead and hide it real quick just so I can kind of show you. This is what the kids will see. So they're going to see this drop down and then they click it and it takes them to their question that they're working on. And then over here is where they put their answers. If they get it right, um, this progress bar is going to start to show. And so I have to remember what the answer was for that first question when I click it. Um, but to get all this kind of set up is if I go over here, let me try to get rid of this screencastify thing. There we go. And I go to sheet two, see how it's hidden. Don't show your students that because then they can kind of take it. Here are all the answers to all of the task cards. And then Mandy made this nice little status so the students can see how many they get right and they can see that immediate feedback. So all I did was I went to a Google slide and I got these um, task cards for long division. Um, I added the images, I added the numbers, all of that kind of stuff. And you need 10 for, to, for her template. Now, if you want to make more than 10, she has directions again on how to create all this. I'm just using her template because, again, I'm kind of lazy. And I just love what she did. And so then on the spreadsheet, I went in and I saved all of these as a PNG. So file, go to download. And then once you're at download, you're going to download it as a PNG file. Once you have that file downloaded, you're going to go over to the spreadsheet, click the box for each of the different questions. So I go in here and I go to insert and I go to image and then I insert that image in the cell. It's going to be small, but as you can see on sheet one, it's perfect size uh, for the kids to see. So again, insert image, add it. She even on here at the bottom has a template for the task cards because she does use a certain size. Um, so I just kind of took her slides with questions. She's got this template. This is the size that you want. You can, again, add your own image instead of using hers, or you could just add your own questions to that. Once I added all of my task cards, um, and again, I made them in a Google slide. I file, downloaded them as a PNG, each of those slides. Then in here, I added all of those images um, in those cells. Then I added the answers over here, okay? So right here, we've got this first answer, 84 remainder of five. So students are gonna go down, they're gonna choose question one. There's the question, they're gonna work out the answer. There's my answer. There's my status bar. I am good to go. Now here, if I do 84 remainder five, I got it wrong. The students don't get another status. They have to type exactly what is in this box. And so now there's my status, okay? So as they get working, so as they solve all of these 10 problems, their status bar gets to that very end. Um, and again, if they miss one of these, they don't have that in status bar. So they're getting immediate feedback based on how they're solving these. So I love, love, love that. So again, if you want to, you can create your own images, insert image, add it to that cell. Same thing with these task cards. And then you just add your, your answers. Um, one thing you do want to do is once you're done, you're going to right click and then you're going to hide this sheet. And then the students can, again, they can use this drop down and they can solve. I would assign this as every student um, can edit the, or make a copy of this in Google Classroom. And then right here is, um, I just made this in Canva. So I just went into Canva, Google Classroom header size, and I just did long division, check your understanding. So it's gonna be a quick check for my students um, on long division. So again, real quick update, the right here, all sheets, I can go to sheet two. I can go in here, change any of these questions, change the answers, go in here, add those task cards, and then add those images. And Mandy did all of the hard work of um, creating and um, 
hiding everything. So what a fun way. And again, I'll link all these um, links in the YouTube description. I'll put her blog and then I will add my task cards and this sheet if you want to use the long division. Uh, so happy creating. Can't wait to see what you guys create.